So welcome Wolfgang to Copa Data Engineers Kitchen. Um, today's topic is compatibility in Xenon. So we decided yeah, almost 10 or 12 years ago to keep our systems compatible. Could you give us an impression why this is important and why we decided to do that? Yeah. First of all, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, yeah, compatibility is very important uh, because it is the basic uh, to secure the customer's intellectual property. This is the foremost uh, reason. Uh, another reason is uh, the security reason. Mm -hmm. So compatibility makes it possible to upgrade the systems among newer versions, mm -hmm. which gives the customer the possibility to, to always keep uh, his system up to date. Uh, so it's also a security and investment, let's say. So he starts with a Xenon edition and can be sure that in 10 yeah. or 15 years he yes, still yes. has a chance to use the company. The customer works with a tool and creates its intellectual property and must not uh, oh. take care about the tool itself. Yeah. Customer can only focus on its uh, project. He creates his own intellectual property and, uh, and is sure that this keeps over the time uh, where new Xenon versions came to the market. Mm. I, I very often heard the term of, of, of editor compatibility. Mm -hmm. So how does this fit into this concept of, of securing investments for our customers? Editor compatibility is, the, the, is, a, is a key compatibility in these terms. So this means that the customer can take a Xenon project okay. of a former version, mm -hmm. open it into the new Xenon editor mm -hmm. and uh, the editor uh, compatibility makes sure that uh, this former version gets converted to the very latest version and within the newest editor it can be uh, edited like uh, any other uh, project. Mm. So the big advantage here is that they can use one engineering system and maintain many different runtime systems without having yeah. 20 different editor versions running in parallel. Like you you uh, talk about the runtime compatibility okay. <laughs> means uh, the editor or the editor is able to store each project in a certain uh, runtime version. Okay. Uh, makes it possible to also serve uh, old runtimes running on, uh, on systems maybe which are since a long time uh, online. That's, that sounds pretty cool. Um, in, in for update scenarios, is there anything specific to consider that? Yeah, so also the runtime, the runtime uh, compatibility means uh, also that the runtime's running, mm -hmm. so the newest version of a Xenon runtime is able to run Xenon projects uh, which are compiled mm -hmm. with a former Xenon okay. version. Means, for example, a, a Xenon project created with Xenon 720, mm -hmm. uh, and if I now install the Xenon runtime 760, it's easy to start okay. this former runtime so this is project, running. this former project, without any compilation at all. So okay, simply so start the runtime with the former project. So there's no engineering interaction necessary, it's just an update of the system and everything is up yes. and running. Uh, this is the key feature in terms of upgrading a running system on customer side, so with, with less uh, downtime yeah. as possible. So of course, yeah. uh, with, uh, with a server client system, there is even no downtime needed. How do we handle that normally if I have a redundant server pair, so if I have a server and a standby server? Can I mix the versions there or is this something we do not recommend? Yes, yes. So this is the procedure or the client uh, runtimes. The client runtimes are normally upgraded to the newest version. Okay. And this works with the, with the existing server and, mm. and standby pair. And uh, when all the clients are up to date, mm -hmm. then the then server to. and standby are updated and the project can be switched to the very current version and this runs smoothly further on. Without any interrupts. Without any interruptions. Cool. Wolfgang, thanks a lot. I want to thank you with a small present. Thank you very much. Well, wow, looks nice. Cool. <laughs> thanks for your engagement today. I know you have a, a background in the kitchen, I hope. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you still enjoy coming back to Copadatas Engineers Kitchen and hope to see you soon in, in a, maybe a similar session. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bye. What a delicious episode of Copadatas Engineers Kitchen. If you are still hungry, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.